Right now, we are at the junction number three. This is Sophia Morrell and Martin Hatch. Again, junctions, if you're not familiar with them. <gasps> Excuse me, you're not familiar with them. You have two choices as a bad guy. You choose one or the other. The live action sequence shows you um, what the difference is and what happens. Holy shit. <laughs> Something that hit me. Sorry. Uh, the, the live action sequence like shows you what happens in one or the other. And also kind of pertains to the story and kind of moves it along as to what happens. So um, let's go ahead and continue that shit. Let's go. If by any chance, like any of my volume or anything like that is messed up on anything, let me know. Um, so I can go ahead and fix it. I think the only thing I might have to fix or improve on is the in-game audio, but I should be I should be fine on that for 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 now. <clears throat> this thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. Oh wow, he has Cronon Syndrome. the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And what kind of sickness does he have? That's my question, you know? Taking her away from me. <laughs> Excuse me. What the... How the fuck did this happen, crazy. Martin? How is it possible he managed to take her? Paul, is your illness talking? I'm on your side. Yo, Aiden, this is uh, Aiden says it's really good. I loved every second of it. I am hoping there will be a sequel, but we all know what game Remedy will be working on now. Easy. Alan Wake 2. Dude, I, I think you're I think you're right, Aiden. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We have no idea how this ends yet. But there are forces but working against you. When I believe Burke was we'll see how it ends and then based on the ending, we'll we'll see if there's maybe a sequel for this or not. But yeah, dude, I I think they are gonna be working on Alan Wake 2 now and they have to. I'll be right there. I think everybody's like pretty much looking for Alan Wake too. Um, I had you know Alan Wake, I have that, and then Alan Wake American Nightmare. You get it with this. Um, I should I should probably like give that away at the end of the of the session. I do have a free Alan Wake Nightmare Nightmare code. You know the future. Doctor Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? Is there anything here that I'm supposed to be looking for? As... I've never... Hold on. I've never actually tried looking at anything like this. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? Huh. I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. We got to see who we're going to trust. We're either going to trust Sophia Martin or we're going to trust Hatch. Again, these this this is the work the works of the bad guy. This is the choice of the bad guy. So we're trying to figure out exactly which way and what direction we're going to go in. Um let's go ahead and show uh Amaral. Let's see who that is and let's see like what's happening. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my close <laughs> advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Oh, fucking crazy. But that's true, the loyalty does not run any deeper than saving your life. Um Aiden Pierce says, I have American Nightmare on my Xbox One, but I made a channel trailer and uploaded the final moments of this game if you want to check it out. Dude, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably check it out later. Let's go. I'm, I'm going to be putting this up as well on YouTube. And those who are watching it on YouTube now, you know, as always, click like, subscribe, hit those comment section. Yo, let me know what you guys think. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. <clears throat> I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Hmm. I this is kind of like a hard choice, but um The thing is Sophia was there until the like the very last minute. Like she she chose to kind of like leave because she was getting attacked. Like she never like she never left like on her own kind of thing. 
Um, so let's go ahead, and I, I think I'm gonna choose to trust Hatch. Like, okay, again, from the, from the from the mentality of of, his, of the of the bad guy, she didn't leave her. She didn't stop until, from what we saw, the drone attacked her. So we don't know who who's attacking her with that drone. It could have been Hatch. It could have been something else. So we're gonna go ahead and and trust Amara, and then we're gonna we're gonna pretty much suspect Hatch as a traitor. Uh, let's go ahead and confirm this. Trust your judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. All decided to have faith in Dr. Sophia Amaral. I'll take the laptop to the science department. <coughs> no, I think I'll do that myself. Yo, what's up with time being all broken right now? Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled Oof. some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Yeah, that would that wouldn't take long, especially now. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. See, he's like he's not like a sadistic bad guy, you know. I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. He's like he's a methodical. He's he's trustful. Most of all, I mean, he doesn't want to kill Jack Joyce either. He's his friend, you know. It was the first time I'd heard her name, but she had been there in the past. When it all started. What the hell? against me from the inside and she wasn't the only one should we trust beth wilder as well like i mean it seems like she might be have more at stake than anything else i'm um, 100 of my friends agree with me that's uh the, again the guy in rubes 63 percent of the community agree with my choice not bad at all it's not bad at all this is junction number three continue the story hey guys that was junction number three those are my choices what are yours let me know in the comments below as always hit that like button if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe so you can check out the rest of the content i'm going